Hey, thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting. This is Lance, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to run two fishbowl files simultaneously. Many of you are familiar with how QuickBooks works. Uh, to run two files simultaneously, it automatically does it in the background, and you simply need to switch from one file to another. So fishbowl works a little bit differently. Our goal in this video is to get two fishbowl icons in this system tray to switch from one file to another easily and to run them both simultaneously so one person can be working in your practice file and another person can be working in the live file. So to do this we actually need to install Fishbowl uh, again. Um, so first of all we need to get the install and that can be found at fishbowlinventory.com so we go to fishbowlinventory.com and go to support, then software updates. We'll scroll down. There's several different versions you can download. Select the version you want to download and then the version for your computer. Select the download and it'll begin to download. So I already have a download in the downloads folder here. So what we're going to do is go to my downloads folder and run this install. Before you run it, make sure to turn the Fishbowl server off. So it won't install over this Fishbowl server uh, while it's running. So we're going to turn that off. We'll exit that and then double click on this download and get it running. I'm going to pause my video and be back in just a minute. I'm going to let it run for a second. Okay, the only part you missed is I got a little pop-up giving it permission to continue the install. So now we um, accept the license agreement. We say we're a current Fishbowl user and click on server with client. So we're going to install another server. And on this screen right here, we need to add a different file path. We don't want to install it over the other files. So we'll call this fishbowl practice right here. Click next and let it run. I'll be I'll let it run for a minute and I'll pause the video and be back in a second. Okay, on this last step, I just uncheck this box and I'll go ahead and let it run and click finish. and the fishbowl server will start to boot up. There it is right there. It's got a red dot. That red dot will turn yellow and then it'll finally go away. Sure, activate your license. Go ahead and activate this. Done. Database needs migration. Okay. Allow access. Alright. Okay, so we selected a uh, the example file to connect to and we're booting the server right now just clicked OK letting it run okay so that step that I paused the video on was just a migration step fishbowl needed to migrate from a previous version that used Firebird database and needed to migrate the data from the Firebird database to MySQL. So you may run into that. You may have to uh, patiently wait through the migration process. In this case it took a little less than six minutes. So once you have uh, Fishbowl started and running uh, looks like it's not running. Let's uh, let's get it there. We'll need to make another icon that that maps to uh, that maps the live file. So to do that, we'll go to the install, which should be under C drive. That's just the default area where I put it, and go to Fishbowl server bin and we've got uh, the application we'll right click on that create shortcut and rename that shortcut to 
let's say fishbowl live and then we can okay allow access and then we can move that fishbowl live so now we'll have a let's call this a practice server and yep continue and we'll call this one a live server so currently we have the practice server running down here the two so if we click on another server icon we'll get this error message saying we can't run two fishbowl servers simultaneously let's wait for it here there it is servers already running so to get around that error we'll double click on uh, the server we want to run and you can choose which one you want to do this we'll stop the server okay notice the IP address and then the port 28192 we want to change that port to change it go to tools options click on server change the port I commonly use 28193 so we'll just change it to 28193 so now we'll have one server running under 28193 and the other one running under 28192 so let's let this uh, start up here I'll be right back okay it finished booting and you'll notice that this now says 28193 and if we go to the other server you'll see that one's running a different file under 28192 so now we have the two servers running next we can run the fishbowl client we'll double click on the fishbowl client and in the login section there's a place that we can tell it which server to go to here we go so this is the screen we want if you have username set up uh, this will go straight here so click on the details button and it's defaulting to local host if you click on the magnifying glass it'll pick up the file that it's connected to so you can see the file name and notice if I change the port number to 28193 and then click on this magnifying glass again it's going to find a different file if we click on the drop down it won't show the other file it'll only show the other file if we change the port number so we're going to log in to your company 28193 and while that's logging in I'm going to start another client instance I can use the same icon or if you'd like you can create a shortcut icon with a different name and I like to uh, boldly name the file differently so if it's a practice file I put a bunch of asterisks across the top so when you're logging in they're they're obviously different so this one's your company the other one I'm running is also your company notice it defaulted to 28193 so we'll change that to 28192 and click our magnifying glass and now it's picking up a different file it's the bicycles unlimited file so now we're logged into two separate files one is called your company the other one's called bicycles unlimited if you'd like to change your company name so you can clearly see uh, that you're not in the live file this is where uh, you do it here go to setup company and then put a new name practice file click save and now that shows practice file as a matter of fact down here if you hover over your server you'll notice a little tooltip comes up and that one says bicycles unlimited this other one says a different company name so if we stop and restart the server then this will capture this new name that we put right there um, so let's do that we'll go ahead and stop that server and this takes a minute so I'll be right back so I stopped and restarted the server and you'll notice it recognized the company name and captured that and now when I hover my mouse down here we see the new name of the company file
So thanks for joining us today and hopefully this, this helps you get through the process of running two fishbowl files simultaneously and giving yourself the ability to run a live file and a practice file. Obviously we can't run tests in the live file so this becomes extremely beneficial to have a practice file and a live file running simultaneously. Thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting and I'll see you in our next video.